Hey everyone, I have just pulled over today because after driving by, I just had to turn around at this culvert pipe because the other side of the road, there's like three feet of water sitting there. And I just got out a minute ago and we have a big old beaver dam to remove. Two really big culvert pipes, but why is one of them barely flowing? Maybe the reason why I stopped. The other side of the road seems like the water level is extremely high compared to this side. So as soon as this last truck goes by, we're gonna go over to the other side of the road and see what we got. Yep, we got something. That is a lot of debris. A whole ton of it. Yep. All right, everyone, here we go. Woo! I actually just flooded my boots accidentally by jumping down here. I didn't think the mud was as deep, and this water is actually very, very cold. There's still snow in the woods here in northern New Hampshire. I don't think the rake is going to be a big help. This entire structure across both of the culverts is actually one piece. It's all welded together in place. This water is so cold, I may actually have to use the rake. It's freezing.
that's actually helping a lot. This water's not as cold as I thought. Definitely not as bad as being in the middle of the winter. Bar. That's a good way to get a hole in my boots.
All right, everyone, we just got that water down so much. It took a while to drop because this swamp is way bigger than it looks from the road. And now that these things are 100% open, we'll continue to drop quite a bunch before this is over. All right, everyone, so we got this one fully open. It really helped. This thing doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the pipe. With my feet, I was able to slide it all down and force all that junk right underneath. Same with the other one. Now, this whole structure is all welded together, but as you can see by the way I was jiggling it, the welding has slightly broken between them. Look how much we've dropped. At least a foot already. When I first started, it was raging out of here. There must be a big area of water out there somewhere but it already drained most of what's going to happen already happened but most of the water is coming from there but there was a big reserve of water blasting out of this channel now i have no idea if this is a secondary pond or not i have no idea where these beavers live so they're both open but you see the beaver dam going all the way across i made a slit all the way to the bottom of the dam entering both pipes and look at this, from the undertow right here. Remember, this is all a sitting pond. All this leaf debris, where there's current, it all got dragged back over. See, it's already plugging. Look at this. And that is surely going to help those beavers. But the leaves getting sucked over to here, that's not going to stop probably for a few hours. But we got this water way down to the point it has already receded on the other side. That was pretty cool. See, there's still some snow here on the edges of the road where the plow put it. And there's a little, yeah, there's still a good amount in the woods where the sun doesn't reach. Now let's get over to the other side of the road. Yeah, there's a good amount of snow there too. So there is no beaver dam downstream. Sometimes there is. When beavers are very active in an area, they make dams everywhere, and sometimes it'll cause the downflow area to flood just for a little while. But now, both pipes are running. Yes, that one's running more, just like when we started. The water's just angled at it, but I know throughout this, they were kind of taking turns as I went back and forth working on it. And see those poles? It looks like Fish and Game used to have grates on the exiting side so beavers couldn't go in there in a situation like this it's not flowing terribly fast so beavers will definitely go in the other end and create a blockage midway and there are fresh beaver chew marks all over the swamp absolutely everywhere let's go back to the other side of the road make sure i don't forget my rake and i can show you on the other side definitely from this year See right in there? Very, very fresh beaver chew marks on that tree. And you see, we just drained all the way back up inside here. See the dark, muddy areas where the water was sitting? All that drained. Big difference from before. Here's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like after. At least two feet of water has dropped. I did flood my boot when I first got in there. It's not filled to the brim, but it is pretty much soaked. All right, everyone, so now that that is unclogged, the leaves getting dragged over by the undertow, that is definitely going to re-clog the grates slightly where it's still in the water. 
but it's not going to clog it back up where that water starts filling back up and that's because the grates don't go all the way down there's like a foot gap underneath both of those grates before we actually get to the culvert pipe and that means the only way that's going to flood again is after a really big storm or the beavers as early as tomorrow Well, that pond over there, if you can see to the right, when I just pulled in here, that's still frozen. Hasn't thawed out yet. A lot of times swamps will actually freeze very late, and they also defrost very early because the swamp gases are creating, or the, I, not the gases, but there's a lot of bacteria in a swamp creating heat. As things are being broken down and decaying, it's creating heat. So it makes it more difficult to freeze and they're always the first place to unfreeze if there's a lot of rotten material under the water. Hope today's video was interesting. Thanks for watching and have a great day.